Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're doing a quick test over the conveyor systems that are now built into the cockpits and the O2 systems for small ships. We're going to basically see what can and cannot move through them. Get an idea of what kind of setups you can expand upon based on that. Since you do new, sorry, since you do now require O2 in the cockpits and pretty much anytime you have the setting turned on in your game, of course that is going to completely redefine the way you design all your craft. So what we have here first is the uh, industrial cockpit. It's connected by a small conveyor tubing from one medium cargo container to the next and uses two sorting blocks to push everything through the cockpit. So I've already done some testing on this and I'll go ahead and go over it with you. First we put the ammunition in and that gets moved over to the next one. Put the ore in. That gets moved over. And the computer parts and those get moved over as well. Now these are all, as I recall, small components that can move through small conveyor tubes. So basically you can include your cockpits in the actual conveyor system lineup without having to worry about setting up a separate routing for your ammunition. Now the missile launchers, or sorry, the missiles, steel pipes, and the oxygen bottles, none of these have traveled through it in any of my testing here. Now the steel pipes are definitely for large conveyors only. And I had thought the missiles were for small, but apparently I must be mistaken on that. Or it's a bug, of course, I'll double check that information once we've completed the video here. Now next, what we have here is, through the small connector on the front, we have a medium cargo container. The fighter cockpit is connected by its other small cargo, small conveyor tubes, rather, to the uh, O2 generator, which is connected by, or sorry, that's a large conveyor tube connecting to the O2 generator, and that connects by small conveyor tubes to the O2 tank, which connects by large to this one here. So, what we're going to have to do, since we don't actually have a conveyor set up, actually we'll just go ahead and pour everything in here, and we'll strip it off and throw a conveyor on the end just to make it all happen. So, we think all of that off, we'll go ahead and uh, cut you up. Grab our sorter. Wrong direction. And then throw our last medium cargo container and, of course, power. So let's see what moved through that system there. All right, so we have the ammunition, the ore, and the computer parts, all the small parts that we confirmed on the previous one. So it doesn't matter that part of it is connected by a large when the exit is also a small conveyor tube, of course, you will not be able to route it that way. So since none of these cockpits have a second large conveyor connection, you're basically looking at only small conveyor options. Of course, the large one is there for, say, if you wanted to... Uh, we'll go ahead and cut all this off. Pick these up, of course. And then put a medium cargo container on the back there. Or the O2 generator, as we had, because that would connect by a large connector. And that right there just makes it a lot easier for you to uh, design your holding systems, your cargo systems, and all that around it. And what you could do potentially here is you could put a actual set of chain guns down here. I don't think you have a conveyor block itself set up, so... Wrong one, of course. And what you would have, of course, is a gun system set up directly on the nose of your cockpit. And, of course, you can just diverge from there to get your actual weapon system as close to the cockpit as you can. And that right there just is really going to truncate your fighters a lot. Your uh, utilities and craft and fighters are probably going to get a little bit thicker, a bit taller. But as far as the actual 
placement for weapon system, you'll be able to bring that in a lot closer because you don't have to worry about the extra conveyor system. Alright, uh, that pretty much covers our testing there. Basically, the conclusion is your cockpits and your O2 systems will route small conveyor items through, no problem. And, of course, the large items will not. Now, you did also see that the O2 tank does not go through because it's actually supposed to be used up by the cockpit. So it's feeding it in to power the uh, O2 in the cockpit, basically, to replenish it. Alright, and as always, thanks for your time, and you have a good day.